Hello and welcome back my fellow mages and mystics and today we're gonna take a little bit of a vacation we've been working hard on a lot of stuff and for one thing I had to make a new tool I had to make an ads and this will allow you to strip bark from logs so I stripped some bark off some oak logs got some oak bark and made my fishing pole. This is from a mod. You will not find this in the vanilla game, I do not think. But you need three stripped logs, or debarked logs, and eight rope. Your axe and your knife, you put it in your crafting grid like this, and you make a fishing pole. So, like I said, we're going to do a little bit of a vacation today. We have some of our uh, stuff growing here uh, we have our first ground growing pumpkin vine so we should be getting pumpkins <clears throat> soon we have some lavender growing here and we have some more st. John's wort I want to see if I can propagate this a little more and we are growing st. John's wort and lavender let's see can I get the seeds back I can we're growing st. John's wort and lavender to make medicine so we can take a little more damage heal up from it and things of that nature I did some replanting I want to try to get in one more crop before winter hit I want to get some onions, I want to get some more cabbages, preferably. Flax, of course. And turnips, they're not going to grow very well, but we'll get some. So that's not a big deal. Hopefully by the time they get ready, uh, we have some honey going. We'll produce comb in a day, so we'll be able to harvest that soon. We'll go down here by the rift. To check on our animals and we have chicks we have baby capercallies we have three that I know of Ooh. yeah we have three that I know of I want to see if they're producing any more eggs they are laying more eggs well they're laying one egg we'll get out of here so we're not bothering them and let them do their thing. So, another thing that I want to do is I have been working on some stuff. I've got some fish hooks. And I found another temporal gear from a drifter. We got some obsidian fish hooks. And we have some worms. We're going to be using our worms very soon. So, fishing, there, there's a couple ways you can fish, actually, in this game. So, one is I can place a stake here. Now, if I go all the way over here, we've got a bunch of fish in here. And I think if we put one here... And then if we do this, we can put a line there. That's not what I wanted to do. So we might have to do a couple, yep, jump over. We might have to do a couple things here. So let's try putting a line here and a line here. Ha! That's what I wanted to do. This is called a limb line. Or this is called a trot line. I'm sorry. This that's called a trot. That's this is called a limb line because well it's either a limb line or trot line one or the other so 
we can do that and I'll put one more here I'm gonna need more of that stuff <clears throat> so what we can do we can put a hook on that and we can put a worm on it we can put a hook on here and put a worm on there then now if we just leave these be This is a passive way to get fish. So what we can do now is since they're all baited and everything, we can leave those alone and come back to them at some other time and passively get some fish. So another thing I want to try to do is out here somewhere, I want to make a little fishing dock. It's on the thousand and one projects that we have going. So I'm gonna get some cattails out of my way, just directly out of my way. And I can replant them somewhere else. And the hard sedge, I'm going to toss those because I don't care about the sedge. We're just going to get a little bit of this duckweed out of the way. I don't know if this grows back or not. But, either way, doesn't really matter. So, now that we're done with those, we can put the stakes away, we can put the fishing hooks away. Uh, these will dry out. I'll just do something like this. I'll just plant them there. So, yeah. Take a fishing pole. Hold right click, reel it back, toss it out, and we'll just wait for, you see I had 13 worms, now I have 12. So yeah, we just basically wait for the fish to bite. And we'll see what we can get. Uh, I don't think we got much of anything. I need a drink here, just a second. It's summertime, gotta make sure you stay hydrated. And I'm doing this because, for one, I'm always running kind of low on always running kind of low on protein and apparently I don't think I'm catching anything Hmm. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. I, I caught something. I caught a piece of grass. Well, even if we can't catch anything here, We've got our other lines. Uh, 
And I might just save the rest of my bait for the the passive lines that we have in the water. Yeah, I'm just catching grass. So I don't really care. But we'll go back and we'll check that. We do have a fish on. So we will grab that. And it is a perch. And if you do this, we can get some. And the bait is still on it. The bait's still there. There's a bunch of koi in here. The koi, I believe, are just decorative fish. That's a sea snail. I'm looking to see if we have any... Uh, these are all koi. So, let's try one more time our fishing pole. Just to see if we can get anything. I'll go way out that time. Got a good zoom button so we can watch. And hopefully we'll catch a fish. I think we got more grass. Yep. We just got more grass. That's fine. So, alright, well, that is just one thing that I wanted to do. Just to take a little breather, uh, give us possibly another way to work on getting some more um, protein in our diet. And another thing I wanted to do is just a couple little chores around the house before we um, before we work on getting into the Iron Age. So that's, that's that. Fishing stuff. Yeah, we can put the fishing stuff in here. I have some more Terra Preta. I'll put fishing hooks in here. I uh, have more fish hooks here. Alright, we'll put the fish hooks in here. I right, put the cattails in here. I have a couple more rope. I'm going to go take care of my fish. Fresh for 3.9 days. No point in wasting it. I have some stuff in here that is about to rot. And some stuff that has already rotted. So we'll take that out. We'll take that out. That's good. The eggs are good. I did harvest some eggs. I have some more stuff here that's about to rot. But this stuff is good. That's about to rot. So we'll take that out. I did some cooking. Uh, that's cured meat. And we can seal that. We can take that and we can start this barrel again. Can I put this? <clears throat> I can put that back in there. But we will talk about compost when the time comes. Because you can use this to make high fertility soil. Mixing in barrel 64 rot equals 16 compost. And you put 8 around. So we could get exactly 2 pieces of that. So 
that is that is pretty sad that's gonna spoil soon I got more steaks let's put the steaks I'm gonna take those put the steaks in there because I've been keeping grass in here so we have I thought I had some more maple seeds Oh, I've got cordage in there. I've got some of that. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Um, cordage. And put the cordage up here. Do I have? I have boards, okay. So, let's make us four more. Which will make us two more trunks. And I think I can make something like this. Hmm. Extended workbench. I had it right, I just had the wrong. So, okay, now this is gonna be pretty cool. But I'm gonna need to put those there. Uh, these are empty barrels. And I'll put that there. I have some barrels here. Let's just put barrels in there. That can come over. Keep that torch. And we'll take a nap. Because we're just kind of just doing our own thing. But I'm not going to work on it today, but I'd like to set up measurements for the animal barn. And I have I have plenty of these. So we're just going to set like the the just outline for where I want it to go and we're going to be doing something with these and I did just kind of moved everything over here to make the ads just our important smithing stuff so out here we have still our aurochs and our are they llamas or alpacas they're alpacas and we've got stuff over there. We've got rabbits, chickens, and things of that nature. We have an empty cranberry bush. So, basically, what I want to do is I want to have one corner here. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one corner there. And this area is going to be pasture. So then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a corner, and a corner. And this will be one animal pen. And I'll put stuff, I'll probably put fences between. I might do walls just depending on what we have. So there's one. Okay, this could be for the aurochs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this can be for the alpacas with some fence out in front. 
And I want to do one more for sheep. Even though I don't have any sheep yet. Four, five, six, seven. There's for sheep. Even though I got it in the wrong place. Alright. And... Should I do one more for pigs? Yes. Let's do one more for pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll come up and do... There. And that is the footprint for the animal barn. And they're going to have pasture come out. And things of that nature. Okay, yeah, I got it in the right area. So that's the footprint of our animal barn. It's not going to be a crazy detailed structure. It's going to be a rough structure. Just to get some things done. And one more thing we can do together. Since we're just kind of doing some chores and stuff. That went in the wrong box. And I'll probably use up a bunch of this. I don't know if I have enough. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough of that. I might have to do something else. I got some age wood planks. <coughs> clothes. Things of that nature. Some iron fencing. More of those. I got to make some more torches. I got to make some more lamps lanterns got to do a bunch of stuff so we're going to take some of our low fertility soil out this direction and just going to do that We have, we have another fish. We have a catfish. That gives us four raw fillets. So, a couple days of fishing. We have some of our bait missing from some of them. So, that is, that's a thing. But yeah, I'll keep checking my fishing lines, gather up some fish. What I'll probably do with the fish, to be completely honest, is I will probably cook the fish up when I get enough of it to make it into some meals that I can seal because I have plenty of beeswax and fat, but I'm not using my fat. I'm saving my fat to do another project that'll be upcoming soon. But we've got like 30 different projects going on. And I'm just kind of working on whichever ones I feel like when I feel like doing them. So, but yeah. We have some fishing now to get some extra protein in. And we have the area for our barn marked out. And between episodes, I am going to grab, I'm going to take these out, to be honest. Because I don't need these at the moment. Let's look at cage. Okay, locust cage, wooden cage. Medium animal cage needs copper ingots and boards. Catch it. Okay. Be hurt or domesticated, be catchable. So I think that's how we might be able to try to catch our sheep and our pigs. But that will be for another episode because now I have copper. I can make those. But what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to grab this and put it on our back. And between episodes, I am going to go back to the iron place. And I'm going to grab a bunch of more torches. So I can torch things up. And mine out a bunch of iron. To get in preparation for the Iron Age. And our fruit trees are growing nicely. So until the next episode, guys, stay safe, stay magical, and have a good one. Bye-bye.